Hello everyone, this is Noah and John and we are from Urban Digs and it is Monday so you're going to get your very first Brooklyn market update. John, let's get right to it. I'm in the Brooklyn chart room on Urban Digs. Mm -hmm. I got there by using this overview. I'm looking at my supply. Not much, 31.86. Show me that chart. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's an interesting number. You look at that Brooklyn supply number; it is hanging in there. So um, it you know it peaked a little bit after COVID, and it's kind of come down. It's it like Manhattan right now is going sideways. Yeah, very similar chart to Manhattan. It's just at a different point, a different level. Um, now that we're starting to do this, we will keep track of it. This is the first time, so we, you know we don't have much to uh, to go back on. So let's move on to pending sales. One thing I noticed right off the bat is they're really close together here. Um, pending sales came in at three thousand forty-two. Johnny, show me that chart. Yeah, and that is uh, that's up substantially. I mean, it, it, you know, Brooklyn wow. sort of took off really quick after the pandemic, after the reopening, and it yeah. you know it started leveling out around the holidays and then just kind of picked up again. So uh, Brooklyn yeah. pending is just on fire. Yeah. And I mean, look, with only 3,186 things on the market and with 3,042 things in contract pending, that is why you have a market pulse of close to one. There's almost a one to one ratio of supply and demand. And that, and that is just not something that favors buyers in terms of options and negotiability. So um, we'll keep track of that. Again, this is our first report. Now we have a starting point of 0.95. We'll see where it goes from here. Yep. Um, John, uh, you know, we have all these new charts in Brooklyn. And before I get to the weeklies real quick, um, I want to show you price per square foot and median and sale price trend, because I, I do want to show everyone where the, the price trends in Brooklyn have been going. They paint a very different picture. First, let me show you median and sale price trends. Take a look at this, John, and, and tell the audience what you see here. Well, I mean, it, this to me is just, uh, let me look, it's just a march upwards. It's slow, it's steady, and it seems like the demand for Brooklyn is just, it, it, there was no down, there's no downturn after 2016. I mean, it yeah. came down a little bit from the peak, but I mean, it's right back above the peak of 2016, 2017. Yeah, and I, and I think that like, in, in case you're, you're, you're outside looking in here, um, I don't think prices are up this much. I don't think that's what's really going on here. I think median sale prices is, is being skewed. I think that the type of property that's closing, going into contract and closing, the demand for larger units in general, if you think about what happened with work for home, that is causing just a, a, a larger price point to go into contract and close. And that's what shows in the median sale price chart. No, that's a very interesting so, point. I, I tend to agree with you. Yeah. So, I mean, you get, you just got to use a little bit of caution. And, and the reason I'm thinking that way is because now I go back to the Urban Digs Brooklyn chart room. I could say that now, Urban Digs Brooklyn chart room. And I go to price per square foot, which I always used to tell viewers is our linear price action. That is our linear price action chart. Um, it, it's, it's less exposed to what types of properties close and when. And look at this chart. It's a much different story. Yeah. And that is what I think Brooklyn is going through right now. Um, up from this point right over here. But what do you think, John? Yeah, no, no, it's, it's, an, it's an excellent point. I mean, look, you can see that peak and was that mid 2017? It looks like Brooklyn peak yeah. in terms of price per square foot. And then almost it was like a slow downtrend after that. And now yep. we seem to be sort of, you know, those gray bars, obviously that, that signifies a little bit early, but, you know, we may be sort of bucking that trend, but it's, it's definitely not, um, you're not breaking any records here. No, and, and it's back, you know, when I think about where we're back to, we're back right here. You know, yeah. and again, that's that's very similar to right here. It's like it's like late 2018, 2019 markets. I think you could see right over here when we we're actually getting out of it before COVID started. This chart actually shows it. We keep telling people that we did. Th thank you, John, for pointing out the four-year, you know, you know, progressive policy reset. And then we were coming back before we yeah. went down. So it, it's a nice illustration, this price per square foot of Brooklyn. I think it really does. Um, jive with what's going on there in a price action level. Um, and, and it's great to have these charts going forward. So um, great work, John, in the back end of getting all this data up to par. Thank you very much. Shifting, John, we're going to shift. We're going to go over the weeklies. We could do this for Brooklyn too. I want to let everybody know over here, you use this little cog right over here to change your borough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that to Brooklyn and we're going to go do our weeklies. John, I'm looking at supply. We came in at 333. Is it good? Is it bad? I don't know. Show me that chart. Uh, I mean, look, supply really is not taken off in Brooklyn. I mean, it's, still, it's definitely up from a year ago. I mean, what's not up yeah. from a year ago, but it's not gangbusters up. I mean, we're up a little bit from last week, but last week was down from the week before. So it's, it's almost going sideways here. Right. 
And let's move on to demand. Looking at contract signs, taking a slight dip down at 220. Let's go for some history and show me that chart. Johnny, bring it up. Yeah, I mean, this is, um, I mean, we're, we're looking at, uh, just like when you, you look at Manhattan data, we're doing over 300 contracts a week. You know, Brooklyn doing yeah. over 200 contracts a week is pretty substantial. And yet here we are. And it's, uh, yeah. we've had a several weeks now over 200. And, you know, this week was no exception. Yeah, we, we might be seeing a little bit of peak demand, but but it's just too soon to tell. So we want to see a few weeks of this before we go into that. But um, do make note of the seller's market flag in this sector of the woods. Um, we'll keep track of that. And I, look, I want to look at one month, John, just, just because this is the first time we're doing this. Yep. Take a look at what one month Brooklyn um, data is showing you. 1,280 things came on the market, up 13%. 943 things went to contract. And again, that's a lot. That's a lot. 394 went off. So you, again, you look at the net net flows of supply, you add all these together and it looks like there's still a net negative coming out and yeah. inventory is pressure to the downside. It's a great so, point. Yeah, exactly. Great stuff. This is just our first one. It wasn't the best one, but we're going to have hiccups. We're going to get better as we go. That is John Walkup. I am Noah Rosenblatt. We're both on Urban Digs. This has been your Brooklyn Market Update. We hope you have a great week and we'll catch you next time.